I wanted to give an overview of the radio flow settling tank in my 100 gallon fish tank algoponic setup. Water comes into the tank through the valve there and the piping. And then water flows into the solids lifting pipe, which goes down to the bottom of the tank and the, dif uh, the distance between the bottom of the pipe and the bottom of the tank is about a quarter inch or less. We wanted that just enough to suck in the water and the uh, solids from the fish. That solids lifting pipe is three inch diameter and it proceeds up from the bottom of the tank to a 90 degree bend across the top of the water to a bulkhead fitting a bulkhead fitting then it's reduced down to an inch and a half pipe then it passes through a ball valve the ball valve is there for clean out purposes to clean out the settling tank just turn the valve close the valve and stops the flow helps you clean out the tank then the pipe goes down to nearly the bottom of the tank the settling tank that's about uh, one third up from the bottom of the tank some of the tank is buried that pipe goes in through the pipe or in, th in through the tank and then comes up out of the top of the water here that water flowing through that inch and a half pipe goes into this four inch diameter stilling well that slows down the water and then from the stilling well it goes into the tank which is a 32 gallon trash can that has a roughly 20 inch diameter when the water enters the tank through the stilling well it slows down vastly and it slows down enough so all the solids settle out and down to the bottom where you can see at the bottom there are some solids and then the water flows through the effluent weir uh, holes there's 48 holes half inch diameter into the effluent pipe and then into the sump some radio flow settling tank statistics for the tank for the fish tank I have 150 gallons per hour coming into the tank that equates to 2.5 gallons a minute so the water flowing through this solids lifting pipe is 2.5 gallons a minute. That's what's coming out of this pipe here. 2.5 gallons a minute. And because this is a 32 gallon tank, I have a retention time of 12.8 minutes. This is critical for the functioning of this settling tank. The longer the retention time, the more chance more solids settle down to the bottom so the solid lifting pipe is three inches down to one and a half inches which has a diameter of 1.77 square inches the stilling well which is four inch diameter which is equal to 12.56 square inches. The tank has a 20 inch diameter, so that's 314 square inches. And then the 48 half inch holes each have, or for a total of, excuse me, 48 half inch holes have a total of 5.42 square inches.
Why talk about all that? Because this is a matter of design of the tank. The purpose of the tank is to slow down the velocity of the water to such a point that the solids sink to the bottom. So the water coming into the influent pipe at 2.5 gallons per minute at an inch and a half diameter gives the velocity of that water 326 inches per minute. When the water goes into the stilling well, which is four inch diameter, it slows down to 46 inches per minute. So it goes from 326 inches per minute in the influent pipe down to 46 inches per minute in the stilling well. When the water goes from the stilling well into the main tank, it slows down to 1.84 inches per minute, which is equivalent to 0 0.03 inches per second, virtually nothing. And then instead of having one inch and a half inch hole for the effluent, I have 48 half inch holes spread over 22 inches. So when the water flows out of the effluent pipe, it's at 61 inches per minute, or another, in other words, basically roughly one inch per second. There's an increase there from the tank, but that's that increase is over such a small area that is basically has negligible effects. I, do like, I would like to do a quick talk about how I clean out the tank, the radio flow settling tank. Unfortunately, due to me being a rookie and not really ever building one, I have to clean out the tank in a very non-elegant way. I use a fishnet to scoop up the waste and then I take it to my processing area. So first of all, I just put the net in here to scoop up some waste very carefully to minimize the mixing of the waste with the water. Slowly bring it up the side and then bring it out of the water carefully over to my processing area. which is a, a fabric pot over a, some mesh. And at the bottom is a bin to collect all the water. So this is a dewatering area. I just dump the waste into the bag, shake off the net and let it dewater through the bag or the fabric pot into the bin. Then after that, after it's dewatered, I either put it in a mineralization bin to uh, mineralize out all the demineralize the, the material out so I can water plants, or I put the waste after it's dewatered into my uh, worm bin, so for vermiculture uh, composting. A brief discussion on miscellaneous items and lessons learned in building the radio, the radio flow settling tank. Number one, I have a bulkhead fitting as discussed earlier here for the three inch influent solids lifting pipe. There's a one and a half inch uni seal bringing that solids lifting pipe into the tank. There's another one and a half inch uni seal for the effluent pipe. And originally, instead of having half inch diameter holes, I just basically cut the pipe lengthwise for the weir. That was a bad idea. 
because it increased the velocity around that weir too much. So I changed it to holes, half inch diameter holes. Some lessons learned. Well, that was one lesson learned. The second lesson learned was I didn't put out a clean out pipe and a drain. I did not do that, uh, mainly because of inexperience. Had a lot of head knowledge, but no experience in building. So that was a problem. And also because the overall hydraulics of the system and the high elevation of the tank, I had to bury the, bury the filter and the sump uh, anywhere from six to 12 inches. That does have some benefit. Helps provide some insulation from the earth uh, during cold or hot times. Those are some lessons learned.